Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got Sean writing in on the email. He says, hello Matt, love the channel, very informative. I currently have a Nikon D5500 with a 50mm f1.8, 18-55 kit lens and 55-200 to kit lens. I have around $400 to spend on a new glass, and I'm stuck between the Sigma 18 to 250 macro or the 17 to 50 f2.8. I was also looking at getting into a new body, perhaps at 7200. The reason I'm considering the 7200 versus the 71 is the newer generation X Speed 4 processor, which would have a similar feel to my camera currently. I can replace two lenses with the 18 to 250 macro, but having fast glass is never a bad thing. I shoot sports, such as skateboarding and lower light settings like comedy clubs. Keep the videos coming. I'll watch them right when they come out. Thanks. Well, thank you, Sean. Appreciate the, uh, appreciate the viewership. Always great to hear back from uh, regular viewers. And uh, thanks for your question. The, this is a, a kind of a tough one. I understand why you're liking the Sigma 18 to 250, why that appeals to you. It's a good range. It's a good all-around, say, a travel lens type thing. It's why I like the Nikon 18 to 300 because it gives you a good range. You don't have to take a lens off if you're out traveling. Um, a lot of times you'll get a shot that you wouldn't have got if you were fumbling switching lenses, if you didn't have the range, etc. However, you are noting that you shoot skateboarding and lower light settings like comedy clubs both of which could benefit from faster lenses. Moving subjects in sports, faster lenses are better. Uh, lower light settings like a comedy club, you're going to like a faster lens. I would lean towards the Sigma 17-50 to f2.8 OS for that reason. Yes, it doesn't have the range, but you've probably got enough in a comedy club, especially if you can get up close, and you've probably also got enough for skateboarding. Uh, you know, you work with what you have, uh, and I've shot many weddings with a 17-50 to f2.8, uh, so... It's very doable, and while it's not the same event, I think you could definitely work with it, and I think the advantage of the F2.8 aperture, the faster lens, would be more advantageous in that situation than the longer 250mm slower lens. The other thing is maybe if you sell the kit lens and your 55 to 200 you could get both perhaps, depending on if you pick them up used or refurbed, that might be an option. The 7200 versus the 7100, I can see why you would want the 7200 when you're shooting skateboarding. So anytime you're move, shooting a faster uh, moving subjects, not that you couldn't do it with the 7100, but that was really the only advantage of the 7200 over the 7100 when it came out is it's got a faster um, shooting speed because of the deeper shot buffer. So it's basically got more memory so that the buffer doesn't block up fast on you. So you can shoot higher frame rates for a longer period of time at on the 7200 than you can with the 7100 so that may serve you alternately you probably could still be just fine uh you know there was a time when we didn't have these type of frame rates and good photographers still got shots of all sorts of fast moving objects so you could work with the 71 get your two lenses and maybe that would suit your budget better as well uh, but yeah in your situation i think i would go with the 17 to 50. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Go with the 17-50 f2.8 because it's faster for his shooting situations? Would you go with the other for the reach? Is there another um, lens or combination that you would suggest? Let us know what you guys would do and why. Let us know in the comments below. Let's discuss it. Let's help out Sean. Thanks for your question, Sean. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.